It's September 2023 and we've just had four big new changes to Supreme Commander Forge Lines Forever, three of which involve new commands, one of which is kind of a hidden thing that I've already seen some people complaining about, but once you know where to look, it's obvious. And so let's get right on into it. It is Tactical Takeover here in September 2023. The first new command we'll look at is what used to be the shift G or the spread, also the G. And what you'd do is you'd right click and then you'd press either G or shift G and you'd get lots of individual waypoints. You see that no longer works. It's now called distributed orders. What you need to do now is select the group just like before, but instead of just giving one on one order, you give two or more. So in this case, I'm going to hold shift and right click one two three times then i'm going to press the g and if we take a look now what you can see is the orders there have been distributed i don't know why it says distributed four because it's really it's three orders there one two three and it just randomly splits up the groups and gives each one orders now what you can do is hold shift and give a fourth order and the separate units will each go their own separate way and then join up again at the end of the day and that works the same for land air as well as naval units it also works for engineers uh, so for example if i just detonate these four mass points and find myself uh four engineers let's take these three guys and this one here what i can do is give each one of these an order one uh, let's get rid of the move command. So one, two, three, four. So four engineers, four mass points. They're going to do them all in order. I press the G command, let go. And because there's four engineers and four mass points, each one has been given its own mass point. Of course, the, the more engineers you've got, or the less it's going to distribute it uh, as best as it can, even if you don't have the exact matching. Perhaps the strap bombers coming in, you need to quickly split units up. It works exactly the same way. You'd hold shift, um, give four waypoints, one, two, three, four, press G, and it would send units scurrying in in each direction as quickly as you can. Let's now look at some new helpful commands that have been given to the assist menu. So the default for this is the I key. And what you need is a suitable structure that can be... Uh, upgraded and surrounded so for example a tech 2 or tech 3 mass is perfect hit the i key to assist it with your engineers and then click on it and what it'll do is realize well the only useful thing to build around a mass point is mass storage and it will go ahead do so so no longer do you need to waste your time building templates for things such as this you just hit i and this also works for things like radars so if we go ahead build ourselves a radar and quickly go ahead get that onto tech 2 and bring you back there we go so we've got ourselves a tech 2 radar we can also assist uh, the radar accordingly and it will go ahead and build tech 1 pgens this also works the same for tech 2 artillery so if you've got your uh, uh, to increase your rate of fire there again just hit i this can also work for multiple upgrades as well so if you uh, have your engineer selected press i you can hold shift and click on uh, multiple uh, mass points that are tech 2 as you notice now that i'm saying it of course these are all tech 1 it also works for tech 3 artillery um, you press i and it will build tech 3 uh, fusion pa power generators around the artillery and last but not least is a very useful function i'm surprised it's taken this long to work its way in but it finally has and it is an upgrade button and it literally upgrades anything that is under the mouse pointer now you do need to set this uh, so if we come over to the controls i use the old uh, shift g simply because that no longer is a thing but if we take a look here uh, the action that you're looking for is this one here upgrade a structure and by default it was not bound so i've just bound it to shift g seeing as that's no longer a thing and what happens now if you have something suitable selected underneath the mouse pointer it will upgrade and again shift g you can obviously bind that to uh, your mouse or to any other device that you have 
And so again, you just hover the mouse over, and in this case, mouse point tech one, well, the obvious upgrade is to tech two. Uh, the same thing here, we've got a tech one land factory, uh, hover over uh, shift G, it uh, upgrades to tech two. I assume it upgrades to a support factory. Uh, don't quote me on that because I've already got a tech three HQ here. Obviously, same again for the air factories. Uh, same for the radar also. Again, anything that can be upgraded, uh, just move the mouse over it and press your upgrade button. Wait again, which I've defaulted to shift G. So one nice way of attacking here, very lazy, quick way, is to select a load of land units and then again, right click where you want them to go, hold shift, separate the targets like this, and then pressing the G key, we can see we've got so many attacks, this is going to very easily overwhelm a player, certainly if it's a player like me that gets stressed out when you're fighting on more than one front at any time. Another function that you may or may not be aware of is if you take a Tech 1 Mass Extractor with some engineers and assist a Tech 1 Mass Extractor, rather than upgrading it, what will happen is the Mass Extractor automatically pauses and the engineers begin upgrading. The Mass Extractor then unpauses as resources allow. And this is a quick way to upgrade a Mass Extractor and or cap it off simply by pressing the I key. And again, this with the engineers selected. So again, uh, gonna press the I key, hold down shift, uh, select a second mass extractor. And you can see the order there straight away. The mass extractor pauses. And as soon as the engineers have completed their previous task, over they come and they begin upgrading accordingly. And this way it's very easy to chain together a bunch of mass extractors uh, accordingly. Some of you, when you build a fat boy or other experimental units, may wonder, hang on, this is supposed to be a mobile factory. Where can I build the units? And I've seen people already complain about this in replays. Notice here that the experimental units capable of building their own units are no longer accessible via the main uh, part of the unit where they were before. If you zoom in carefully, what you'll notice is there's this separate bit at the back of the unit. If you select this bit here, this is actually the mobile factory. You can see here, you can build units uh, accordingly. Notice if you right click from the factory part of the unit, this sets out where will the units go once they are built versus selecting the main of the unit this selects where you actually move the experimental unit itself. So I hope you found those tips and new commands useful. And until next time, remember to keep it tactical takeover. Take care. Bye bye.